James, welcome to AFC Bournemouth. Half a smile, nicely kitted out in the shirt. Just tell us how the, the move came about. Yeah, it was um, it was kind of out of nowhere. It was really quick as well. Um, but no, it's really exciting to, to finally be here. Now, reports were linking you with a number of other clubs elsewhere. Just tell us what tipped the balance to come to Bournemouth. Um, obviously, I spoke to the manager and thought he was he was really uh, really nice to me and obviously gave me a clear pathway and I could see see myself being here and obviously just felt really comfortable speaking to him. Now, we saw that Barcelona were mentioned as having watched you as well. Was it the beach here that tipped the balance as well, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was uh, obviously the football club in itself and obviously striving for to learn and, and for more success and find that I can find that at Bournemouth. You spoke about speaking to the manager. Just tell us what he's sort of said his expectations are or hopes are for you. Yeah, his expectations are obviously very high, um, but I think that me as a player can, can meet them demands and obviously work hard and hopefully be in his eyes for, for the next game and games in the future as well and help him strive for promotion. Very early days, I know. What are your first impressions of what you've seen here? Yeah, it's been it's been really good. It's obviously you can see the standard from the off. The staff are lovely, and obviously uh, Scott's very nice as well. Scott Parker, and I think from there on, it's just given me the impression that this is where I really want to be, and and help help this team get to promotion, and obviously uh, create a, a good future, and and go from there. Easy to read up online about what sort of player you are. Just straight from the horse's mouth, what sort of player are you? Uh, I think I'm quite a, a physical physical player. Uh, I like my tackling, I like my heading and I consider myself to be a good athlete as well. I think I've got a good change of pace and a good leap on me to, to try and uh, get up there in the air to compete so I think I'm, I'm good in that aspect. A modern day cent central defender? Yeah I would say so but I think I've got a bit of old school in me as well because I love the tackle and I love the rough side of the game. I've read somewhere you're a long throw specialist, not something we've had too many of here. Is that is that accurate? Yeah, I've got a, a long throw on me and uh, kind of came out of nowhere. But yeah, I can, can throw the ball into the box and give a, give the team a, another another way of trying to score. Just a little bit of background, a lad who's born in Bristol, how does he find his way to Fleetwood Academy in Fleetwood? Um, well, my, my father's an ex-professional football, football player and uh, he moved to Preston. And from there, we always uh, we moved to Preston with him, and that's where we've been ever since. And from there, I've uh, played for different academies like Bolton and Blackpool, and not quite made it. And then I found myself at Fleetwood, and Fleetwood have took me on really well and give me a clear pathway and to first team football. And obviously, that's done really well for me, and ended up to where I am now. Bournemouth players. Sorry, Bournemouth supporters from the early 2000s will remember your dad, Matt Hill, played for Bristol City and for Sheffield United a lot against the Cherries, sparred with people like Steve Fletcher in those days. What are your memories of watching your dad play? Yeah, obviously I was, I was very young, but I can tell that I've got similar attributes in, uh, obviously, I would say speed, but I'd say I'm a slight bit quicker and could probably jump a little bit higher, but he'd probably say different. But no, it's, um, it was good to see how I'm implementing some of his, his attributes into my game now and it's helping me push on. Now, I know it, uh, it was another one that was a long time ago. Scott Goldborn is another family link here. He had some games here on, on loan from Reading. Do you still keep in touch with him at all? Yeah, yeah cousin Scott, he's, uh, he's, he's doing well now. Obviously, just announced that he was retired, but he's had a, a very good career. And it's just unfortunate that I never got to cross paths and play against him. You've spoken about your time at Blackpool and Bolton there. Now, what's been written about you? We've seen that you're, you're certainly a fighter and certainly someone that doesn't give up easily. Um, you've had some hurdles in your career. I know you said that you were dropped at times by Joey Barton from the first team to the under-18s. That's a big step down, but you've come back every time and, you know, here you are. Yeah, I think that's, that's something that I kind of needed at times to, to be brought back and have little setbacks because I think that's given me the... The, the strive to go forward and, and to keep going and no matter what people say, I got told as a kid that, that you need to pick another ambition because footballer, you can't really make that as a job and honestly told them that, that was, that's not possible for me, I have to be a footballer and I just kind of believe in myself and, and it's, 
brought me to where I am now and I think there's there's more to come because as you said I'm I'm hungry and I want to learn and and I want to keep getting better and obviously I think this is a place to do that. 19 nearly 20 you played under four different managers in the last calendar year at Fleetwood now that must be really difficult particularly for a younger player trying to prove himself to four different people if you like. Yeah, it was it was obviously difficult, but I think it was also a, a positive because I got to take different things from them, different managers, and add that to my game and keep striving forward. And obviously, in the men's football, it's, it's never going to be the same every game. And I thought I got to learn different things while their managers were were in charge. Recognition with your country as well, England under twenties, and that was some game, the five 0 win. Came off the bench, took the captain's armband, and scored a goal. Yeah, it was out of. Uh, it was out of nowhere really and I think that came as a, as a little opportunity to myself and uh, I think I took that opportunity and playing, playing with, the, with the big boys and the, playing in Premier League level and I thought it had done well because obviously I went there thinking that I was going to be miles out of my depth but I got there and, and I thought I'd done really, really well to, to fit into the group. Talking of playing with the big boys, you're joining an AFC Bournemouth squad which got Champions League winner Gary Cahill. England under-21 international Lloyd Kelly, two guys that you can't fail to learn from. No, and I think that was another incentive to come to this club because I think the likes of Gary Cahill, who's, who's captained his team at Chelsea and his history that he's had, and obviously Lloyd Kelly's played many games now, and I think for them to pass down some experience to me, I've got a lot to learn from them, and I think I can only get better from that. Fleetwood's youngest player at 16 as well, hopefully going to be stepping into the championship and making a mark. What do you know about the championship, what you've seen, what you've watched? Um, I know that obviously from playing, playing uh, against a couple of championship sides in FA Cup like Stoke at the start of the season, that it's obviously a more technical side of the game. There's, there's better technical players and, and it's probably the same physical, like physical attributes. You've got you to still compete in the air, you've got to still tackle. So I think I think that's important for me to, to start homing that down early when stepping into this building. And third round of the FA Cup away to Yeovil on Saturday to start with. Then it's straight back to the Championship, Bournemouth top of the league. Just tell us what your sort of hopes are for the second half of the season, short term if you like. I think it's just exciting because I think this promotion is, is really on the cards for this club and I think I really want to be a part of that. and. No matter if it's if it's top of the league we're playing or it's, it's bottom of the league, I think we you, you attack every game the same, and I really think that this club's got that to a T, and I think we can really push off promotion. And longer term ambitions, perhaps? Uh, it's probably to start obviously get promotion this season, and then push to the Premier League and stay in the Premier League for for many seasons to come.